Hi, I'm Ann Ward, winner of America's Next Top Model Cycle 15, and you're watching RealityWanted.com. Hi, it's Sanders McGinnis from Bravo's Make Me a Supermodel. I'm coming to you from the America's Next Top Model Cycle 15 Grand Finale. Tonight, we're going to be interviewing Anne and Chelsea, the final two. So check it out. Hi, I'm here with the amazing winner of Cycle 15 of America's Next Top Model. Anne, congratulations. Thank you so much. How does it feel? Oh, it feels amazing. I mean, I've been waiting for a long time for it to air, so it's finally <laughs> here and oh, I can get my life started, you know. I actually tried out by uh, invitation. Somebody sent me an email saying that um, they might like my look or something, so I, might, I decided to might as well like give it a shot, and it was only until after casting week we found out about Italian Vogue and stuff, so um, it kind of did make me a little bit nervous, but I think it also made me want to work harder. What advice would you give to young girls, young women who want to be in your position right now? Um, I would tell um, people that would want to be in my position, like, just, you know, be yourself, don't don't let people talk down to you, no matter what makes you different. I mean, I'm six freaking two, I mean, and I made it mm -hmm. all the way to be America's Next Top Model. And, you know, you can just, you know, you can do anything. Yeah. Don't let people tell you you can't, so. New York, LA, Milan, where are you going? Um, I'm not really sure right now. I mean, I visited New York recently and um, I think that would be a great place to live. That's where IMG is located, so I'm thinking about New York. What does a top model spend $100,000 on? Um, I'm going to, well, I hope I don't try to splurge too much, but I'm going to try <laughs> to uh, invest as much as I can into um, expanding my career, uh, moving out and stuff like that. So I'm going to put it to use to you know, get my name even more out there, more exposure and stuff, so. Okay, Chelsea, congratulations Thank on you. making it to the end. Thank you, know. you, yes, it's a big, I feel very blessed to made it this far, and um, it's a huge, huge, you know, the runner-up for Top Model is a really big deal as well, so I'm proud of myself I made it this far, and anytime I'd look to apply on the, for the cycles before, it's like I always missed it or something was off, and so it just felt like the right moment, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll give it a try. I never in a million years thought I would be casted for it, so it was like the most amazing thing ever. It was exciting. Final Roberto Cavalli walk. What's going through your head? Oh my gosh, I hope I don't fall. <laughs> <laughs> I, I usually pride myself in my walk and I'm very comfortable on the runway and I was by far the most nervous I had ever been. Um, I think just not even the fact that it was Roberto Cavalli, it was the fact that it was for the title, it was the finale show, it was all these things going into it and so I was really really nervous but at the same time really excited to finally be there. I've always wanted to be in the finale for Top Model and I was there doing it so it was really really exciting. What was your favorite photo shoot throughout the entire competition? Um, my favorite photo shoot, even though I didn't do my best that photo shoot, was uh, definitely the Patrick Demarchelier photo shoot. He is like He's like my Madonna, Madonna. <laughs> like he is amazing, and I've watched his career for as long as I could. And you know, it was like working with my my God. So <laughs> I was so excited and so privileged and honored to be able to shoot with him. So that was definitely like the best day of my life in that show. I unfortunately my nerves got the best of me, and I didn't do my best, but um, I still think that was the best day. I learned to be more confident in myself and to know that, you know, being who I am is just good enough for everybody else. I've always been told in this industry, there's always something wrong with me. I'm too fat or too pale, too many freckles. It's, there's always something wrong. And Tyra was the first, you know, important person in my life um, that told me, you know, you'll never be too fat for me. You're beautiful the way you are. And it was the most inspiring thing that she could ever tell me. So um, that really lifted my spirits. And that was probably, you know, I just learned that you have to be yourself and you have to be confident and comfortable in yourself. So, so what advice would you give, you know, young girls and young women who want to be in your position? Um, hard, hard work. You have to work super hard to get to what, get anywhere in life, even if it's not modeling. Um, you really have to have the passion and the drive to make it. And I think if you have that, then never, ever give up. I've worked at it since I was 13 and I'm finally here making this big moment. And, um, even though I didn't win, I, I'm still, you know, really successful with the show and you just have to work really hard and believe in yourself and good things will happen. <laughs>